so guys uh, this is going to be a question answer session you guys can ask doubts uh, i'll be answering them but uh, before we start i just want to uh, give you a brief overview of how your nss exams are going to be uh, what are the topics you need to concentrate on uh, how to structure your preparation over the next 20 days so the funda here is that uh, for your nss unlike neat ss there used to be a significant amount of overlap previously but now neat ss is completely general surgery and nss are your specialty exams so most of you are not that inclined to prepare for nss these days the real reason being you it doesn't overlap that much with your neat ss preparation but for serious aspirants this is a great opportunity because it definitely reduces the competition pool the amount of people earnestly preparing for gi surgery or onco surgery or urology the most competitive specialties has decreased significantly over the last few years especially after the new neat ss pattern which means that if you study hard even for a period of 20 days put full focus you stand a reasonable chance of getting a good seat in a specialty of your choice in a central institute and i think that is invaluable <clears throat> if you are serious about your preparation and if you are serious about your career yes it requires a great deal of sacrifice it requires a great amount of focus but it is definitely possible and i can quote numerous examples of students who have done that from our own search test uh, student team yeah <clears throat> so the real challenge is going to be uh, learning to understand how to prepare so you have a short period of time 20 days it's going to be very difficult for you to comb through shackleford devita um, md anderson or say campbell right now the best resource at this point of time is going to be the mcq banks on the search test uh, app so for example if you're starting your preparation with gi surgery mcqs don't try to waste time trying to understand the concepts or trying to read ipmn from bloomgard most important concepts most important tables from bloomgard shackleford have been made available in the question bank make sure you solve <clears throat> 150 to 200 questions every single day and 150 to 200 questions is not an easy job it is tough but if you spend 8 to 10 hours a day preparing it's going to be very easy for you to solve 150 to 200 questions spend 1 to 2 hours at the end of the day reviewing videos of the specific topics on the search test uh, app we have made the general the super specialty video lectures extremely affordable so that uh, all of you can prepare and all of you can you know purchase them uh, at a very affordable rate so the real challenge for you guys is going to be allocating the time to solve at least 150 to 200 mcqs every single day and if you are smart enough you will try to finish it within the next 10 to 12 days and have the next 8 days to again revise these mcqs again so if you take <clears throat> a specialty like gi surgery over the last few years i have found that students who are able to complete the mcq bank at least twice have been able to get selected for the interview round for nss quite easily handling the interviews are another big challenge for that you will require a greater deal of preparation but that's something which we'll handle at a later date we will talk about it and we'll discuss it uh, at a later stage for this for uh, people who are prepared for the interviews for onco surgery the textbook of choice is going to be md anderson if you have already read it before it's great if you are not <clears throat> don't try to waste time reading it anew try just to solve the question bank uh, on the search test app and if you are unable to understand certain concepts use the video lectures to look at it at this point of time trying to make notes or trying to make sense of ncc guidelines is going to be a very tough challenge if you do have time just try to do that for colon cancer breast cancer and stomach cancer mainly of course other cancers are also important from the uh, uh, mcq point of view but do make sure that you are able to allocate enough time uh, for these topics at least uh, when it comes to urology again reading campbell is extremely difficult at this point of time I try to solve the mcqs uh, and again uh, if you do have time see the videos but the mcqs themselves are super comprehensive and super useful so i think this is going to be the strategy for you guys so if you have any doubts uh, you can ask me directly so summarizing again 150 to 200 mcqs daily from your specialty topics don't try to read bailey and love over the next 20 days if you're very serious about your nss preparation the only allocation you can do for general surgery is to solve the mcq bank uh, of the general surgery from the search test mcq not even videos at this point of time only the general surgery mcqs for 1 to 2 hours a day not more than 1 to 2 hours a day just like 
how the exam is split 80% of your emphasis is on the specialty 20% of your emphasis is on general surgery similarly make sure that you don't spend more than 20% of your time handling or reading general surgery so that is the only uh, allocation for general surgery you should give in these uh, next 20 days so if you have any doubts uh, regarding your preparation you can ask me right now uh, so alokik has asked topics for general surgery to concentrate and which topics for uh, focus on general surgery okay so yes trauma is the most important topic and over the last few years we have found that the emphasis on pediatric trauma is pretty high so and including uro trauma so if you have to focus on only one topic you will have to spend time on uh, trauma mainly and then you will have to read about critical care basic general surgery yes is emphasized but not as much as people think it is uh topics in minimal access surgery there is a good amount of uh, uh emphasis on minimal access surgery they also do ask a lot of questions in pediatric surgery in the uh, general surgery part across specialties <coughs> for plastic surgery uh and neuro surgery i think there is a there is a lot of pe people have been asking me preparation for a plastic surgery and neuro surgery is the easiest among the topics there is a good plastic surgery video lectures which is available on the search test uh, video app it's hardly about 20 hours of videos 20 to 30 hours of videos which is easily finishable easily coverable all topics necessary for plastic surgery are covered over there neurosurgery <clears throat> again uh, tumors and vascular neurosurgery are the most important topics and uh, most of the topics have been covered in the uh, neurosurgery video lectures so i think that's not going to be difficult at all so what weightage uh, is there for head and neck uh, and gynec onco in onco surgery yes there is a significant amount of weightage so people have kind of assumed that the emphasis for head and neck and gynec onco has decreased after you know the, the topic split that is partially true but uh, we have been unable to predict how much time you need to uh, you know you require for each of these things it's kind of difficult because we have been unable to predict there have been exams in which um head and neck has again been emphasized despite having a separate head and neck oncology so it's very difficult but if you do have to skip a topic i think gynec onco would be the least uh, important of course even in gynec onco uh, try to read cervical cancer ovarian and uh, vaginal and endometrial can be uh, skipped if you don't have too much time again when it comes to ctvs i think ctvs uh, uh, give me some time Uh, for those who have asked about ctvs i'll try to uh, inquire and let you know what are the important topics uh, important time to spend uh, important topic maximum time to spend in urology again i think urodynamics is very important understanding urodynamics understanding the role of urodynamics the decision making with urodynamics is extremely important uro oncology is evergreen um, andrology also the emphasis has increased over the past few years and andrology is a topic which a lot of people have skipped but don't try to skip it important topics in neurosurgery i think we have been uh, speaking about it quite a bit uh, <clears throat> uh vascular neurosurgery and tumors are the most important neurosurgery is very easy to prepare just use the video lectures i think that's all you need people preparing for minimal access surgery i would say the sages manual is the book to read uh, if you can read sages manual once you are more than assured of getting a top rank and getting a seat it's just that very less people apply and even those who apply don't try to put in enough time to uh, prepare for <coughs> uh, neurosurgery uh, sorry minimal uh, sages manual plastic surgery question bank is we are get, trying to get it ready but uh, i don't think it will get ready within uh, the time i'm so sorry i know i have disappointed a lot of you guys by not bringing the plastic surgery question bank i'll try to bring that as soon as possible pediatric urology see pediatric urology is more emphasized in pediatric surgery than in urology so pediatric urology is not a very important topic when it comes to urology but yes you cannot avoid you cannot skip that totally as well how to revise neurosurgery in 20 days best way i think neurosurgery uh, from the searches app is super comprehensive the video lectures are easily can be easily covered in 10 days in the mcq bank is around 1000 questions so you can easily do 100 questions a day and solve the question bank twice in uh, over the next 20 days so i think it's definitely possible how much emphasis on breast and endocrine for general surgery part <clears throat> uh now that's controversial because 
uh, we have currently found that not too many questions breast and endocrine the questions have been at a pretty basic level they have not been too difficult to be honest at all transplant i think dr karthik spoke about transplant uh, over the last few days uh, so i think you can have access to the that specific lecture where he spoke about what are the topics to prepare for transplant surgery in nss i think gi surgery if you were asked the important topics uh, i think uh, some of the questions are getting repeated as a lot of people have been uh, joined late so general surgery part of nss again i'll repeat myself so the emphasis is around 80% is going to be specialty and only 20% is going to be general surgery so uh, i would say concentrate on specialty more allocate only 20% of your preparation time for general surgery in general surgery analyzing previous papers um trauma has had a significant amount of emphasis pediatric surgery has also had a good amount of emphasis otherwise most of the questions are at a basic level uh basics of general surgery questions are asked but uh, not in too much uh, depth the toughest questions over the last few years have been from pediatric surgery a bit of questions from congenital heart disease cardiac surgery as well as trauma surgery in md anderson what sections in any given chapter to focus more upon i would say with around 20 days uh, it's very difficult for you to focus on md anderson as a textbook try solving the que uh, questions in the question bank i think that would be more than enough uh, and md anderson if you want to read also it's not too difficult to book to read it's un unlike devita it's not going to be super difficult but uh, um, in any given chapter i would say the treatment protocol the tables are the most important because and the tables in md anderson are relatively in accordance with what nccn gives so it's not very difficult to uh, remember the tables for example the tables given about peritoneal uh, oncology management of uh, uh, you know carcinoids those and all are given in a very beautiful manner very concise manner and it basically concises what is given in nccn guidelines so it's not going to be too super difficult for you to understand and read yeah okay, so the thing is that uh, what resource should you use so i would say you use the general surgery video lectures uh, to revise uh, the pediatric surgery part we have covered a good amount of pediatric surgery in the general surgery part of general surgery video lectures itself mm, but uh, if you don't have time i think uh, reading bailey and love once and um, reading uh, sabiston pediatric surgery is quite uh, enough in pediatric surgery some of the topics which have been asked repeatedly are Mm, classification of choroidal cysts uh, one number two they have put up x ray images of uh, anorectal malformation is it a low arm or an high arm then tracheal fistula common types of tracheal fistula showing an x ray image uh, with a red rubber tube in which uh, you have to identify whether it's a pure esophageal atresia or a tracheal fistula not very difficult uh, if you know it if it's a pure esophageal atresia there will be absence of uh, gas shadows in the abdomen <coughs> so that's it uh, Uh, so these are the topics which are regularly asked uh, intestinal atresia have also been tested in pediatric surgery so if you can remember the classification of intestinal atresia choroidal cyst understand basics of uh, anorectal malformations and tef a good amount of pediatric surgery um, for your nss general surgery part is covered uh, guys i think uh, some of the questions uh, i got received a lot of questions in private chat about important topics in various uh, parts i think i've uh, kind of covered all of them <clears throat> but uh, gi surgery yes again gi surgery if you kind of look at it uh, hbb <coughs> in your aims exam your nss has been given a significant amount of emphasis operative images intraoperative images from blumgart are regularly asked as questions uh, in your exam there has been a good amount of questions regarding uh, ipmn ipmn and uh, cystic neoplasms of pancreas esophageal cancer the approaches to thoracotomies uh, the complications of thoracotomies uh, vagal sparing esophagectomy all these are uh, important topics when it comes to colorectal surgery again mri images of how uh, you can uh, diagnose rectal cancer is pretty important uh, and uh, um procedures for uh, inflammatory bowel disease is pretty high yield so general surgery part how many questions are asked uh, again 20% of your paper is going to be general surgery 80% is going to be um, 
your specialty. Guys, uh, thank you so much. Any good source for interoperative anatomy photos? If you're looking at GI surgery, the GI surgery question bank images, we have added a lot of images uh, in the question bank. So I would say there is no better source than the GI surgery uh, search test question bank for your images. For those who are seeing the video on YouTube, uh, the video might appear to be a little unstructured because I've been answering questions in the chat. So yeah, so that's the thing. So anyway, um, I hope this uh, video was useful. And um, uh, and that's it. So I wish all of you guys uh, a very good night and a very safe and happy preparation uh, for your exams. So there's one more question. Last question is, uh, is there any compilation of recalls? All concepts of recalls have been added in the question bank already. So yeah, we will not be releasing separate recall videos as it is against uh, uh, NB protocols uh, for your NESS, but we have added most of the to almost all topics have been covered in the uh, uh, videos as well as the MCQ bank for sure. Uh, good night, guys. If you have any doubt, just feel free to contact me. Thank you so much. Bye.